Hi, welcome to CED Mo's Boz online video series. Uh, this video is how to complete a drive uh, startup wizard using Logix Designer. So here we are in our uh, Logix Designer uh, version 31. Uh, we're using an L36 ERM uh, attached to a 525 drive. So we're not online right now. We just started a new program. So we're going to come down to our Ethernet and add in our 525 drive and we're going to be using the uh, embedded ethernet port so give it a name and we know the IP address on this particular drive because we put it on using uh, the HIM module which you can do from the front you can also use USB um, which we'll show in another video and also you can use the old boot P method as well uh, the revision we know is 5, but you could leave it to whatever you need and you can match it later, but we know that. So let's go ahead and OK and create. Let's close this and we're going to open this back up. And this connect button up in here, what we're going to do is we're going to upload the parameters off the drive uh, to match what we have in the program. Um, and then that way we can go online without any issues. So we're going to upload from the drive. Here it is. It'll bring up our RS links. Um, we know it's on our Ethernet port, and there it is at port at, uh, dot three. We're going to upload, and hit finish, and OK. And we're going to download this to our controller. come online we're going to leave this in remote program for now so that we can do um, some auto tunes on the drive uh, if you go to program now um, you won't be able to do the auto tunes on the drive because the controller will be trying to control the drive so the drive will ignore you and give you an error so we're going to leave that in program for now bring our uh, properties back up and underneath wizards click wizards and we're going to use this startup wizard right here so this is real nice easy. So the, the before, you know, you had to step through on the hem and kind of know your parameters um, and a lot of, you know, scrolling and button pushing and things like that. Here we can just click next. Uh, first screen, we can reset the parameters if we need to. Uh, language, um, motor control. So these are the types that 525 can do. They can do sensors, vector, vector. vector. Uh, we leave this on volts per hertz. So sort of like a pump application. Uh, motor data. So get the uh, data off of your motor and enter that here. If you have any feedback from a, an encoder, you can enter that information here. Um, stop type, ramp, coast, brake. If you have a brake, you can put your duty cycle in here. Uh, so direction test. So here we would put in a reference, say 10 hertz, and we hit the start. And this is already going to yell at us for something, but we'll get to that. So what it is, right now our motor is running. Um, we would look at the motor uh, to make sure we're running in the right direction. Uh, we'd stop it, and then is the motor running in the robot in the correct application, correct direction? Uh, we hit yes, and move next. And here we could do um, a static auto-tune. Um, right now that's that test is running right now probably going to give us some sort of a fault since we're not hooked up to a motor but we are in sense or volts per hertz so we should probably be okay right, see so we got a fault because there's no motor hooked up to this drive so we're not going to be able to actually run an auto tune speed control or ramp rates so ramp rates uh, 0 to 60 Hertz right uh, and then acceleration and decel rates um, so this nice little, you know, uh, trapezoid graphic here to show you what they're trying to get out of you. So we're just going to change these to 5 seconds. 0 to 60 is fine. Uh, and then if you wanted an S-curve for more of a smooth Excel and D-cell, you could do that as well. Okay, so you see we got an error here, and that's because we have Ethernet IP assigned to speed reference 1. And actually, we have it assigned by default to speed reference 3. So it's given us an error that they're both set to the same. To get rid of that error, we're just going to change speed reference 3 to the drive pot. 
and that gets rid of our error for us. Uh, Ethernet IP, uh, this is what's set through the parameters, like I said before we started uh, the process here. We got rid of the boot P and set it using the parameters. So digital inputs also, so if you were, if you had any hardwired signals uh, to the drive other than using the Ethernet for the control, this is where you would enter them. And the favorite thing about this is it actually shows you the terminal block uh, and where that uh, signal is wired to. So you would set those up here, as well as your relay outputs. And there's one opto out on here, uh, analog outputs. There's our list of pending changes, and we're gonna go ahead and hit finish on this, and okay. Uh, so that's it, we just went through a startup wizard on a drive, so now what we're ready to do is we can go ahead and put your controller back into run mode. And I put in some simple logic here. Um, as you can see, the, the drive is faulted. We have a fault on the drive, so we're gonna toggle the clear to send our clear faults out. Okay, our fault went away. Now we should be able to start our drive, and it's running. And we stopped it. So there you go. Uh, that's how you set up, go through a you know drive startup on through Logics and you're ready to run the drive through the Ethernet. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.